military spray campaign goes on. See that? I saw that one, that plane there, it came flying in. It just started spraying right there. They're just added all over this morning, like usual. But anyways, I don't want to get started on that. So the idea goes back to, I don't know how long ago it was, but there was an experiment done. And they took this like a shield and they were like, they, they cut two slits in the shield and they were firing at it with, firing particles at it. Somehow they, they had like a proton gun or something and they were firing and all well, the, so they fired these protons through. They were observing what they did on the other side, like the, the pattern that they left, kind of like a gun shooting through a, two holes. Anyways, it showed that instead, when, when they weren't looking at it, it produced like a wave pattern behind the two holes. And they were observing it, it looked like, a, like what they expected to see, like a bunch of BBs hitting a target, you know, in a pattern of these two holes. So basically what it, what it showed was that that uh, particles behave differently when they were being observed. Of consciousness observing matter affects the matter that's being observed. Like maybe the universe is like a video game, kind of. Like what you can't see, what's not being observed, just go, it turns back into a wave. Kind of like those particles, you know, in that experiment. When nothing is observing them, they turn back into a, a wave function, kind of basically like a possibility wave, in a, basically in a giant computer, that kind of like how a computer works, like in a video game where, you know, you don't, you see the, you see the tree, you know, in the video game, it's kind of vague from a distance, you just get closer and closer to the tree, you see more and more detail into the tree, you know, and then as you get closer and you like, like you cut the tree down, you'll see the bark inside of it, or you'll see the rings inside. And so basically like a computer, you know, it doesn't really, it only decodes what, it, what needs to be decoded like a video game. You know, it's, you try talking to some people about this and they're like, no, man, that's impossible, man. You're crazy. It's, it's, it's no way that the that this is all like a, a big simulation or a big giant hologram that's, that's more like more like a big old computer database that's just sitting there until it's being decoded, basically. And we're like, we're like a decoder, a universal computer. One of the, is one way I heard it said. And each person, as we go along, we decode the, we decode our reality, and I believe we affect our reality through our energy. Really, it's called it's called the the uh, laws of attraction. Where as we decode our reality, you know, we, our own feelings and thoughts and emotions impact our, our reality either in a positive way or a negative way. So if we always constantly looking at the negative aspect, you know, and always dwelling in the negative side, that's, that's what's going to be attracted to us, you know. The, uh, the law of attraction. What do you put out there into the ether, you know, is what comes to you as, as you create your reality. Like ancient man was, was far superior to us, you know, like before, before basically the modern age, it was humans were like bigger, stronger, lived longer. They, they say that, uh, the idea is, is that, you know, they, they didn't need language. They communicated 
they could communicate with each other just by a thought, kind of like how animals do. And yeah, so the ancient humans lived like that for thousands of years. You know, they were superior. And they they did. They built all the ancient wonders of the world. You know, and everything was awesome. You know, and then at some point, like around 5,000 years ago, these evil fourth dimensional entities, some might call them the Archons, you know, they've been there all along feeding on whatever energy they could get, but they've been there for ever since the Earth was created. But, you know, just for the last, for the last 5,000 years is how they've taken over and they created modern civilization. Well, you know, they, they had to dumb us down, you know, and, and basically like destroy our pineal glands, which, you know, is how we communicated before the, the ancient human. They basically, they changed our genetics. Some some believe that they use what's called the, <clears throat> the moon-Saturn matrix, which is how they, they control our, our reality now, just like they live movie they live where they use they use Saturn as a transmitter and the moon is like a receiver and it and it broadcasts this you know this this uh, low dimensional wave you know uh, vibration over the earth which keeps us all in a negative vibration is, is what I what I catch from, from was the idea and that's how it keeps us in this reality we're living in. And these entities create all this chaos and havoc on the earth. And feed off all the negative, you know. Just look at it, it just gets more and more negative every day. Ice is all gone, Dingo. Yeah, so that's... It's like the negative visible. I can't get it. Just like the negative aspect of it, they've hijacked the super hologram in our reality, they created this nightmare we live in today. All negativity, well, that that the it goes back to that time when, before that, before that time of five thousand years ago, humans were all vegetarians. And that was a big part of it. They, and as modern modern society evolved, they they took to killing and eating meat. Well, that just changed the whole paradigm right there. When they once they started killing animals and eating them, I think that's when the the DNA change happened. When they became lesser animals like we are today, they lost. They lost part of their genetics. The ancient humans, they, they, they were able to communicate using the ether and the, basically as, a, as like their own personal internet, you know, they could communicate with each other. The whole universe, just with their minds. They didn't need computers. They were the computers. They were like super beings. Oh shit, I'm lost in the jungle. And then, somehow, 5,000 years ago, that all changed. The evil ones took over. Enslaved humanity. And we've been living in this this physical reality. Over ninety nine percent of the universe is beyond our our ability to perceive beyond our perception 99% of all reality we can't, we 
can experience in this physical reality. So it's it's difficult for a lot of people to you know to accept that. I understand though how people have a hard time with that because all our lives were so conditioned to not question, you know, not question reality and accept it that this is our reality, that it's the way it is, you know, but I think we need to, everybody should at least question the reality they're living in. I'm not saying it's it's not, but I, I, I believe that, that reality is mostly just consciousness and all the physical, this physical reality is mostly just an illusion. That's what it's all about with the Saturn moon matrix, the whole mass media, the whole music industry, satanic Hollywood, it's all about that Luciferian agenda of keeping us all trapped inside of their matrix. Once you wake up and come out of the matrix, you have to they have you trapped in their Saturnian cube.